Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to drive the nominal moment of a single layer reinforcement beam section. So this is our single layer reinforced beam section. Uh, the height of the beam is H and the weight of the beam is D. D is the effective depth of the beam and the AS is the area of the steel on the beam tension zone. So this is the strain distribution diagram. So epsilon C is for the concrete and uh, epsilon S is for the steel. We assume that the steel yields, so that's why we assume that epsilon S is equal or greater than epsilon Y. Epsilon Y is the yield strain of the steel rebar. So this is the uh, stress on this cross section, so in comparison, stress and tension stress. So our compression stress is the 0.85 FC prime. And the height of that is A, which is equal to beta 1 C. And uh, this is the forces that we have on this cross section. And above the neutral axis is the compression force. And below the neutral axis is the tension forces. We have T which is equal to AS, FY, we have AS over here, and FY is the yield, strength, the yield strength of the steel rebar. And distance between these two is D minus A over 2. So CC is located in the center of the A, so that's why we have A over 2 over here. And uh, we have this value multiplied by the area, which is A multiplied by B. So that's why we get our CC. So in order to find the MN, we use the equilibrium condition in this area. So that means that T is equal to CC. So we have written also some stuff here uh, that we use internal forces equilibrium condition to find the MN. So CC is equal to T. So we have the CC value and a T value C. So we substitute those two and we find uh, our A. So we substitute the CC and T value over here and we find A which is ASFY over 0.85 FC prime multiplied by B. So after that we find the C, C is equal to A over beta 1. So we have the C over here also, A is equal to beta 1 C. So what's beta 1? If the FC prime is equal or smaller than 4000 P, so beta 1 is 0.85. If FC prime is in between 4000 psi and 8000 psi, so we use this equation to find our beta 1. For the FC prime greater than 8000 psi, beta 1 is equal to 0 0.65. So using the strain distribution diagram and triangle similarity, we can find the strain in our steel, which is epsilon. S is equal to epsilon C strain in concrete multiplied by D minus C over C. So to confirm our assumption that steel yields, we already mentioned that issue in our strain distribution diagram that we assume that steel yields, so that has to be greater or equal to EY strain and yield strain of the steel. So we find the ES using this uh, equation number five. So EY is FY over ES. FY is the yield strength of the steel rebar, and ES is the steel elastic modulus or modulus of elasticity of the steel rebar. So it's 29,000 KSI, and FY has to be in KSI also. For grade 60 rebar, if we is 60 k size, so 60 multi divided by 29,000 k size, 0 0.00207. So if it's not greater or equal to EY, so 
that means that our assumption is not correct. So after confirmation of our assumption, we can find the MN. It's T multiplied by D minus, if we take moment from, if we take moment from center of this, from the compression force center, so we get it. MN is equal to T multiplied by D minus A over 2 or if we take moment from center of the tension force so we get cc multiplied by d minus a over 2 so we have the t value asfy so our mn is equal to asfy multiplied by d minus a over 2 so in this one we use phi mn which is phi is the nominal moment reduction factor so our phi mn is equal to phi asfy d minus a over 2 yeah, this is the reference if you, you guys want to deep dive in this issue. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope this video is useful. See you next time. Bye.